guys. Hey. Oh, you're the money man today. Oh, my goodness me, right. Now the ticket's good for till four o'clock when we finish. The last tram leaves here at 10 to four, so this is an all day ticket. You just don't lose it, and you can ride as many times as you like. Cool, oh, thanks. Thank you. Hi, bud. He's in the front or the back? All the way at the back. Panuku is a council controlled organisation that looks after development in Auckland and the tramway here we call the Dockline Tram. It was opened in 2011 and originally was supposed to run through to downtown Auckland but the, but the track never got laid. So we've always only been able to operate on this one and a half kilometre loop. We run every Sunday 10 o'clock to 4 o'clock and every long weekend and public holiday as well. heart of Auckland, the oil tanks and the like. The city's only north facing wharf and there's only one wharf shed that remaining on North Wharf now. It's this one here with the red doors now home to the Winyard Pavilion restaurant. The shed itself was built in 1926. And if you've got a sweet tooth you'll definitely want to check out Gelati Amo just here on the left. Famous for that beautiful gelato ice cream. Well, as we turn the corner into our next tram stop, on our left is Karaga Plaza, the Welcome Plaza. And through the trees, you might be able to spot the white footbridge over which you can walk to the Maritime Museum or downtown Auckland, a walk of about 20 minutes. Well, when this area was first set up back in the 1920s, it was set up as the industrial zone for Auckland. All the streets here were named after old British men who had a background in the maritime industry. This is Halsey Street. Halsey Street is named after Admiral Lionel Halsey, who commanded a battle cruiser during the First World War called HMS New Zealand. This We've got some more stories to share as we travel around the loop. Cool, thanks buddy. Hey, welcome.